We all hope that diplomacy works, diplomacy strengthened by economic and other pressures. Um, but you know, this is a unique regime. This is the only regime in the world that is seeking nuclear weapons and proclaims its desire to annihilate another country. It's a theocracy. It's not just a revolutionary regime the way we have seen dozens in the world. Uh, it is a regime that has a religious basis, at least its rulers do. Um, not a nationalist basis. I would just, we've heard some quotes. I'd quote from the Ayatollah Mezba Yazdi, who's one of the uh, leading Ayatollahs and uh, very close to the president of Iran. We do not care about Iran. What we care about is Islam. This is a very special group. And there's no reason to think that normal historic deterrence would work with them. Not if they're looking for a better life in another world, rather than, as Josh said, in this world. Now, there's no reason to think the Iranian people insist on having nuclear weapons. Kareem has written about this, and I agree with him. Uh, they no doubt want freedom more than they want nuclear weapons. I don't think we can assume that if the United States had to act against Iran, the reaction of the Iranian people would be and would continue to be over weeks and months. Um, let's rebuild rather than how did those guys, the Ayatollahs, get us into this mess with a nuclear program that none of us ever voted for. So I think the lesser evil is acting. I don't think there's a limited upsize. Here I would disagree with Martin. Because what we would be avoiding is nuclear weapons in the hands of those Ayatollahs and we would be salvaging the international non-proliferation regime, which I think will go kaput if Iran gets nuclear weapons and its neighbors then follow. The world would be a far safer place after we prevented Iran from getting nuclear weapons.